I'm really silly, but I need that nicotine fix. <laughs> Alright, so that's the end Observation one is inherency. A. Grids are more insecure now than ever. Status systems open new vulnerabilities which necessitate effective monitoring technology. That's Abraham and 18. Networks are interconnected with systems. Status managed to the energy system. That system can be targeted to be protected. Security is not part of the initial design. Status systems. Monitoring the energy is not a new task. However, monitoring has been based on very limited by CT capabilities. The smart grid highlighted the important risk of assessment tools. They ability to determine cause is important because it paves the way for the next move on how to prepare a response and the advantage of grid attacks. A. Nations are shifting from probing U.S. grids to preparing for an attack that will devastate critical infrastructure necessitating new defensive measures. That's Kobe through in Cardition 18. Various adversaries, including Russia, China, Iran, and North Korea, have been testing a map in U.S. industrial Russian intrusion targeted the industrial control system at the beating heart of every public, critical, and private infrastructure, including water, energy, and telecommunication, and manufacturing. The energy sector focus on the utility effort and hacker could be a signal that Russia is shaking from its war in U.S. utility to actually attacking them. The line between probing and attacking and defensive readiness and offensive preparation may be even better, and scenario one is hedge A. Power grids are vulnerable to attacks and key to maintaining hegemony without increased grid security. Supremacy is wasted. That's sure bomb in 18. The grid provide opportunities to harm the United States want the use and list of America's conventional capabilities. The potency of hard power could suffer exploitable falls have been discovered in SCADA systems. Experts have already demonstrated that the grid can be shut down the entire electric networks. To protect itself, the United States should invest heavily in grid security and be. Current gaps in security invite attacks against the United States. Only protecting kinetic superiority can let escalation of physical war be prevented. That's Carbola and Lakhbari in 15. Cyber war capabilities are the offset to U.S. advantages. Kinetic superiority decide the outcome. Offensive superiority alleviate the danger of escalation and controlling the vertical escalation of military cyber war. It can reduce the risk that enemies will move to civilian targets to convince adversaries the U.S. is better prepared. China and Russia are of the mind that cyber war is needed to offset U.S. military advantages and see. U.S. retrenchment ends economic interdependence, spikes nationalism, and spirals prolift towards great power wars. That's Bay in 17. Should the United States retrench increased nationalism and the spread of nuclear weapons, some states fail to balance increasing the likelihood the United States is drawn into a major war retrenchment, lead to an anarchic multipolar Europe, thus war, a security competition erode the pacifying effects of economic openness, and scenario two is the economy. A. Cyber attacks result in massive economic damage. A single attack on the grid would cost $1 trillion. That's Blue Meyer in 17. Cyber espionage causes a significant economic impact. Archaic cost for public and private industries. It is estimated the cyber crime and espionage cost for $435 billion annually. Threats bring about serious long term results for the company's profitability and competitiveness. A single minute of grid downtime costs 15000 A cyber attack on U.S. power grid is estimated around $1 trillion. Sophisticated foreign government hackers have gotten inside the energy grid and are suspected of exfiltrating data and B. Economic decline and subsequent relationships are the biggest risk of nuclear war. That's countless in 15 Nuclear deterrence and economic interdependence reduce the risk of uh, war between major powers. Unbalanced dependencies and negative trade expectations generate tensions within the trade war. Interdependent states that increase the risk of military conflict. If leaders fear or anticipate an issue decline, they may want the external dependence and refuse to be deterred by nuclear arms. Such a dangerous shift could happen abruptly. The greatest risk is changes to the world economy that render the peace more precarious. Deterrence could lose credibility. Great powers might gamble or yield to other inside the war or conventional war and see. Trump will initiate diversionary war during economic downturn that explodes hotspots that's foster in 16. If the U.S. economy tanks expect Trump to engage in diversionary war, Trump might rally public opinion to side military action model, predict Trump would respond to even a minor downturn with wars more than one conflict per quarter in plain text. The United States federal government should make U.S. Cyber Command responsible for coordinating national cybersecurity efforts by instructing them to install Bayesian intrusion detection systems in all U.S. owned and operated power grids and categorize any attack on the U.S. power grid as an armed attack. Funding through deficit spending, enforcement through normal means, solvency A. Establishing early detection technology and categorizing attacks on the grid as an armed attack is the best way to deter and protect attacks on U.S. energy infrastructure that's not from 17. Preventing an attack required improving the security of the grid as well as creating deterrence posture to dissuade adversaries from attacking the goal should be to detect attempts to compromise the security of the grid and provide certainty to adversaries the United States will be able to attribute the attacks and respond accordingly. Raising standards help prevent catastrophic attacks by focusing on detecting early signs of an attack, prevent wider disruption, categorizing an attack on the power grid as an armed attack have the strongest deterrent effect doing so would reflect norms against attacks on critical infrastructure and B. U.S. CICOM is key. They're the only agent capable of uh, ensuring full grid security. That's the DOD in 17. 
Russia and China are increasing capabilities by targeting vulnerable ICS technology or uh, AI architects, attacks target military systems or civilian which may uh, which military depend. DOD must therefore divert urgent attention to bolstering resilience. Capabilities are the foundation of deterrence by cost and position. Adversaries may attack CI in crisis due to the centrality of electric power generation and supporting military capabilities. Resilience should be supported by the DOD cyber comma uh, to address essential CISR requirements and critical infrastructure dependencies in C. Bayesian intrusion is the best way to do so. It's really effective. That's Pan Morris and Akbari in 15. It is necessary to deploy IDS to alert the automated response when the attacks discover traditional systems only provide detection of the cyber physical where the physical is also a concern. Attack detection algorithms should be developed so that the IDS can identify command control sensor or sensor data has been altered. The solution is designed to be built upon the current resources. The grid Bayesian network is recognized for the powerful intuitive model of interdependencies between variables and represents a relation of workflow. IDS provides situation awareness so the operator can be informed of disturbances in the power grid and D. IDS is key to prevent attacks. It ensures updated security and creates deterrence. That's mission support in 17. The absence of IDS means utility cannot obtain forensics to data related to intrusion or attack. Increased attribution capability aid deterring threat actors who rely on anonymity. It is essential that the government and private research and intelligence entities continues to widen their analysis of cyber threat actors and attack vectors. Vulnerability assessments eliminate hazards of E. Plan is necessary to prevent rapid buildup of security. IDS is the only way to slow offense and fear creation. That's Jamola in 15. Preventing the impact of security measures on one's own causes the accumulation of insecurity, the presence of fear and impact on decision makers, created environment of mistrust and uncertainty. The inability of a sovereign to grasp the security risk is an additional factor considering when interpreting the intentions of stakeholders. The fear as well as accompanying trends may present as natural development. The uncertainty and fear constitutes obstacles to dilemma interpretation and escalate to a hindrance of any sort of cooperation. Yep. All right, tell me the internal linkage of SCADA to vulnerability. Uh, SCADAs are the way through which uh, new grid technology is being created. So it is a small, uh, it is the part of the IDS technology that is, or the ICT technology that so is within grid. You want to defend it's about how it gets created or how it gets controlled? Uh, how it gets controlled. Okay. So that control system leaves loopholes open. Right? Like SCADA stands for super, supervisory control yeah. and data acquisition. Uh, okay. Um, who hacks? Who hacks? Russia, China, Iran, North Korea. Uh, do you solve smart grid loopholes? Uh, we solve. Well, I don't. Uh, I don't know like what you mean by that term of art. Yeah. So your Abrahami eighteen evidence specifically talks about how modern smart grid systems have terrifyingly bad risk assessment and they have super bad loopholes and whatnot. Do you solve these loopholes? Yeah, IDS technology would be able to identify the threats and holes that exist within smart grid. So, IDS. That's how you solve. It. Yeah. Perfect. And what is kinetic? Like, I'm not taking the what is cross. what is kinetic superiority? Uh, it is the superiority of kinetic forces <laughs> over other kinetic. Okay, forces. You're, you're reusing the word kinetic. Tell me what kinetic. So like hard power troops, like superior. soldiers, aircrafts, missiles, all of these things. Okay. Anything that so is in the foreign bound troops are affected by domestic grids. Uh, well, one. We uh, implicate foreign grids because they're owned or operated by the United States, uh, which so those grids are okay. controlled by the United States and built abroad. Second is that the DOD, even uh, foreign troops, rely on communication relays that happen within the United States that get destroyed through grid. Perfect. I want to talk about your U.S. operated uh, plan text wording. Uh, how much of the domestic grid does the U.S. actually operate? The U.S. government? Yes. Uh, that's not what we mean. We mean anything that's operated by the United States. Like okay. that is controlled. So like, uh, well, all of it because it is all, all registered. It, every grid in the United States is U.S. personnel owned. Not U.S. government. If they register, not, the I'm not, not even talking about U.S. government. U.S. personnel is the word you use. Sure. All of it in the U.S. is U.S. personnel. Um, I, my definition of personnel would make me say yes. I think you might or, be interpreting it differently. So okay. I'm not sure. Tonneson, why didn't you read the end of the article? Oh, we do read. You do not. You leave out a paragraph where he concludes that nuclear deterrence is actually sufficient, and also with diplomacy, it's sufficient to be able to solve any economic interdependence issues. Why didn't you read the end of that? Uh, I, one, don't think that's true. This evidence is read like, like, across I, the board, lots of cool. data events. Second, I'll uh, read is that. that I don't, uh, like, our argument is that, like, we can still win the war in debate. Perfect. All right, I'll read that in. Uh, why does, uh, what does categorizing an attack, as the tag of your argument calls it, Functionally do for the attack. Uh, it, it, it doesn't. So it sets up a deterrence posture for how we would respond afterwards. Is that? I don't know if that answers. Okay, your perfect. That does. Okay. Uh, it's gonna be three in case. Say that again. Three then case. Order the one in sequence. Yes. <laughs>
going to make sure I center right in before I. That looks neat. First off, as the counterplan, the United States Department of Defense should implement the three strategies outlined in the DOD Defense Science Board Task Force on Cyber Deterrence 17 Evidence. DOD says we should actually do these three things. Do cut the wrong part of the report, solves all of your app, but excludes Congress and dual-hat DOD 17. This is your own self advocacy, by the way. The DOD should pursue three board sets of initiatives. First, planning a conduct a tailored deterrence campaign. Second, create a cyber resilient line, uh, thin line of key U.S. strike systems uh, to boost, uh, to boosting the cyber resilience of U.S. select U.S. strike system support, critical or critical infrastructure. Third, enhance uh, Foundational capabilities enhancing cyber attribution have implemented in sustained over time. This report's recommendations will substantially bolster the U.S. cyber deterrence posture, thereby reducing risk to the nation. Next. Uh, the DA. Fixed the now the focus uh, uh, is key. Anything else throws it off the agenda. Buckner and 17 choice rooms passing Washington to amend uh, the ATCA or find another solution enabling the funds transfer the Palestinian Authority and Paul Pompeo that will no longer accept any American security aid orders as, the, as, the as of the beginning of February. The American law is a change in solution. It's found to be applicable to the security coordination with the Palestinian Authority. The government of Palestine is respectfully informed the United States of the United States government that as of January 31st, 2019, Paul will be disclaimed to no longer wishes to accept any form of assistance uh, reference and, uh, to ATCA and cybersecurity is a Democratic platform plan with all that focus March 19. Democratic senators now for for president have pushed for major cyber policy reforms. Cybersecurity and French issue to be part, a big part of the 2020 contest. Democratic senators will seek to turn out cybersecurity into a wedge issue to attack presidential Trump, uh, uh, President Donald Trump. The uh, cybersecurity would could uh, provide uh, an important issue to the Democratic base and new changes to authority next to the agenda and congressional and fighting fills over to other issues. Basically, the den changes positive for meal AD. Trump will establish authority over channels the decision of the shutdown down interrupts government, uh, government energy of the officials and diverting the authority shutdown over one issue of my medicine. Uh, uh, stats that's high, say, as a side of refuse to cooperate in other dimensions in legislation and legislation uh, legislative fix by third board one is a key. The alternative is middle uh, eastern instability. Anderson 18, uh, legislative fix is the only way to avoid severe consequences. There is no doubt apparent uh, shortcut before the February 1st. Uh, uh, hanging the balance of peace and instability in the region. The clock is ticking and goes nuclear rapid and 18. Middle east, so it's instability and incentive for maintaining nukes are well uh, likely to increase. Uh, a complex could escalate into numerous and also uh, bereft of. Uh, bereft of international bodies of or a mechanism for conflict resolution next. Cyber competence the U.S. military have effective now by limiting its focus, Carter 17. The DOD must circumscribe the scope of its operations in the cyber operating in military data domain is required to uh, conduct, uh, conduct as defensive and offensive cyber operations as an integrated part of normal uh, military operations to provide, uh, provide uh, significant gains in the efficiency and effectiveness of U.S. military Units of U.S. Our U.S. is ahead of almost all of the states. Cyber capability going to must continue to invest time and effort in order to maintain that lead and plan expand cyber commissions, undermining cyber combat in the whole military. Cyber 17. Most cyber activities should not involve the military at all. Their pressures become more involved. DOD leaders have the thus far managed to avoid being dragged into additional areas to expanding cyber operations. Uh, risk for the way uh, cyber combat, which will put at risk the overall mission of the military and each reduction in cyber combat risk range. The risk miscalculation, which access is any possible hedge off in cyber fog. Bauer 18. The risk miscalculation increases proportionally with the complexity of range of policies and postures and DOD keeps the risk miscalculation. The fog of crisis will be made more impenetrable by uh, cyber activities. Potentially confusing messages will exacerbate the situation. This is a perfect setting for miscalculation. The fear of suffering a first decapitating nuclear strike pervades the crisis at inherency. U.S. grid uh, grid attacks uh, can't cause blackout on account. Connected grid redundancies, checks, check smart technologies, answers all the impact posts, dates, current, and Baker in 18. The worst case scenarios we're imagining are that likely bring down the grid is harder than just looking at switch. It would be difficult to attack, uh, for attacks to lead to wide scale blackouts. North American electric grid is diverse and diverse in its engineering. The Ukrainian grid is a lot easier to portray than the North American one. North American grid began as a patch of unconnected islands. Each built by companies that work out coordinating more than one of the electric grid contains some of the that are built in those end to prevent blackouts. We're not using to prevent a service has a cyber attack from attacking a large number of people. Next, attack. No Russian cyber threat, they won't compromise their system because so, uh, it's Kostyok and Sugov in 17. Cyber attacks have no impact on military ops in each cyber attack, neither provoke nor deter responses. The Russian security experts tell caution the uh, military places will priority on cyber operations. Russia may be reluctant to compromise ongoing U.S. cyber espionage campaigns and its access to Ukraine's uh, information and uh, economic communication networks, many of which rely on Russian hardware and software and no impact to Ukraine creeps. Uh, Spoke cyber uh, security workshops solve your own evidence at the end of it, Abraham in 18. In 2015, an attack of compromise through Ukrainian companies hit this attack with the motivation to organize an international cyber security workshop on 11 April 2017 and Germany. No Germany impact, I can vary 18. 
Although Hedge would define the inter uh, liberal international uh, characteristic of order, a deeply rooted and likely to persist even though Trump raised uh, questions for states from navigation and frontal attack. And there may be deeper continuity, power transition theory, following the stability and persistence of the existing order than side, depending on American power, rules, and institutions have more complex and uh, contingent relationship. And uh, Hedge has already collapsed uh, for a multitude of results on nine unique uh, econ and Hedge in 2017, Gary Yonam is the science that Hedge American Degenerate, which has been awaiting up for a decade, has now ended. Uh, Trump inherited the hegemon and declined his process of declining damage before the other current world office occupant desired to inflict more drug bombs than the brush with favorable consequences of Trump's food world style and foreign affairs. Our economy has been declining for decades. Our divided society displays uh, unmissable raw and our politics are a partisan shamble and uh, the aftermath of 2016 the world state American hegemony has collapsed and the economy. Economic downturns don't cause conflict. Clarity 15. Two economic uh, downturns uh, generate conflict. Economic stresses that's uh, with uh, conciliatory policies drawing the data from 109 to seek rivalry, uh, rival dyads, six seven which determine evidence such as rivalries were twice as likely to terminate during downturns. Like uh, controlling for all main alternative explanations for peaceful relations, cut the card and relations. And Tonneson concludes Ned with diplomacy proved a uh, nuclear deterrence is sufficient. Here is the part you forgot. Tonneson 15. Even though accomplishments of deterrence and independence enough to prevent war among powers because of nuclear armed forces, our nations are uh, fearful of deterrence. Uh, the adversaries have the same fear. They accept the risk uh, entailed by depending back economically on others. There will not, uh, be neither trade wars nor shooting wars, uh, just uh, disputes and diplomacy and solvency. IDS technologies are ineffective to deter threats that easily voting to produce lots of positive alerts which drain resources into cloud security computer forensics console in 18. IDS is futuristic and complex machine learning algorithms are based on behavior modeling to make intelligent guesses. Current IDS technologies are going to be ineffective. IDS systems are going to produce a lot of false flows and drillers, which in the end increase administrative overhead, fatigue, and bad decision results, such as turning off features that security team feels may not be useful. And IDS fails hackers can set off the alarms and work around it. You eat tutorials in 18. And the IDS won't stop a hacker. You must respond to every alarm from the IDS. The IDS generates too many false alarms to uh, make an IDS fail. Hackers often attack the computer setting of the IDS glass alarm. The hacker can slip into the computer undetected. Hackers can alter their attack methods to avoid alerting IDS. And the plan doesn't solve uh, for a significant amount of the harm. They only deal with the U.S. owned and operated. That is the much. USFG owns 9% of a, uh, power, 9 power agencies with 7% of uh, net generation, 8% transmission energy. Dot of 18. Who owns the electric system? The electric system is owned by a mix of entities. The federal government owns 9 power agencies with 7% net generation, 8% Transmission and 24 uh, months, solvency delay, but negative presumption, Lieutenant Colonel Alfred 17. You and cybercom uh, personnel have uh, highly specialized training, uh, long lead times, and uh, significant uh, recurring currency requirements. The typical training at timeline is 24 months from a session. There is little room for error to meet the sustainment requirements while uh, also, uh, also considering post qualification extra risk and plans unilateral approach fails to increase the risk reduction at all in 18 four, or 14. Even a, actually, Nick's that card. I didn't read it. Um, the query card. Was cut at relations. Do you all want to mark comp? I marked it. Myself. Okay, I'm going to mark it as well. And the um, yeah, pass the Gershman. Okay, ready? Um, one, two. That's not. Status of the counterclaim? Cool. Uh, so let's talk about CP. Uh, so what does it mean when counterplan says create a resilient thin line of key US strike systems? So this is literally your solvency mechanism. Literally the article. No, my solvency mechanism is much used for, use for is the good. solvency mech of your app, like your cybercom is necessary card is literally this article, except it's I get a it, but article. I still want you to explain the argument. So which part of it? Uh, okay, I want you to oh, explain the thin cyber line. resilient thin line. Yes. So this is talking about the uh, boosting cyber resilience to select U.S. strike system. So it cites three specific instances. So does that have anything to do with grids? Yeah, it goes on to say cyber nuclear, non nuclear, which are uh, various methods of in critical infrastructure that we would solve for. Uh, okay, where is it outlined? It says it right after to boosting the cyber resilience of select U.S. strike system. Right, right, right. But where does it outline what a strike system is? I'm really confused. Strike system to me are missiles. Uh, so I think that this evidence can be contextualized to what we instruct. Also, I think that whenever it's talking about critical infrastructure as well as another thing uh, to be supported, that's like another thing that should be uh, you know said. The uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. yeah, so yeah, I think that the rest of it sufficiently answers your question. Okay, politics. Um, so, first, can you just walk me through the story real fast? Right. So, ATCA is this really messed up, like, 
funds system. Yeah, yeah, sure. I, I kind of get that. Can you walk me through the link? I suppose I'm sorry. So I was there say. should be a focus right now on fixing ATCA. That needs to be done by February first. Whenever you uh, create these mass changes, especially regarding a, a Democratic Congress versus a Democratic platform versus a GOP platform, there will be. Is a GOP fight. pro military? Uh, I, that's not the argument. Cybersecurity is. Wait, wait, but Trump has like four cybersecurity bills since he's been in office. I think that our evidence is very specific about cybersecurity, and this is from like four days ago. Can you read me where in the Marx evidence it says that Republicans don't like cybersecurity? Because it says Uh, a lot that Dems do. So, yeah, so I think the distinction can be made over how that cybersecurity is implemented regarding who, like, who does it, especially since Democratic senators are running for the president and they push for these cyber policy reforms. That's like the first line Wouldn't of it. Wouldn't the Senate also pass it, though? I'm confused why it's only Dems win, like Senate passes and President signs. Uh, I fiat it signed by the President. I mean, that's cool they fiat it, but you're not answering yes. the infighting that occurs based off of that fiat. It's a politics decision. Well, I mean, I know, but it's, yeah, I'm sure. I'll take that. <coughs> oh, crap, there's another... Order is counterplan, politics, Crowther disad, or the hedge disad, or whatever you uh, plug it as, uh, and then inherency, solvency, um, or wait, wait, no, inherency, had, uh, like the same order that they went on. And then two new off at the bottom. Two new off? Yup. Oh, classic. And so. Actually, I'm just going to throw it on the counter. Uh, I'm going to speed up this speech. Or just speed me if it's a problem. What did you say? I'm just going to speed up, so slow me if it's a problem. Is that pretty good? Yeah. 
On the counter plan, Q solved to their huge solvency deficit. They don't implement any kind of deterrence posture, which means that they can't solve the app because our app is contingent upon both the ability to tag and having a firm deterrence posture. This also means that since they don't establish a firm deterrence posture, they uh, their, their 24 month delay evidence double turns back on them because they have the 24 month delay, which means attacks happen in the interim deterrence posture is the only thing that gives us access to this. Next argument is permanent. You both know the reason why you uh, can't do both uh, positions on base and doesn't protect the grids isn't about our advantage. Their evidence about strike capabilities literally has nothing to do with the grids. The reason why I didn't cut this part of the advocate is because it isn't about the grids. Not very good. Go to politics. Uh, no evidence about the link doesn't say anything in relation to a trade-off. Literally, the link is just saying that Democrats like cybersecurity. You should not vote on this decide on base next. Plan is bipartisan legislation has already been passed to increase cybersecurity. That's been it in 18. So we can introduce two pieces of legislation to protect the country's energy from cyber attack. Where the senator made the bipartisan uh, piece of legislation in June, and had a limit of the gardener. And Senator Tammy and Duckworth in the Energy Jobs Laws, the Heroes Act, and the veterans prepare for careers in cybersecurity and clean energy to secure the greatest part of the sky. Green security is supported by Gardner and two turn. Lawmakers are begging for more cybersecurity legislation, increased uh, bills. Key to bipartisanship, that's Church in 18. Asked if he had any authority to conduct cyber operation in the foreign battle, Leon Agus on the major response on Capitol Hill lawmakers that both parties pushed election and cybersecurity put forth in the agenda of the heightened concern of the interference. Both Republican Democrats criticized the administration response only the midterms are a few months away, but Trump got on the stronger than the press coverage is not only backed away from anything. And next week, the author of the president signs means no impact to the Republican Party. It would be a claim as a win by both parties wouldn't have an impact. Uh, next, their internal link evidence is a very good no reason why this would occur exclusively, no reason why it costs more. And hedge is the stabilizer, our archaic and evidence indicates that hedge is the internal stabilizer around the world. We win hedge, we win the dis side go to Crowther. No Lincoln turn plan solves labor shortages. We free up employees because it's automated. That's Haywari and Marsui in 18. Security solution make the analysts likely the threat hunting uh, the activities time consuming and labor intensive when carried out manually being able to automate is worth exploring attack detection tool to automate the process of observing and correlated security of the threat detection. Such automated really automation reduce the load of human analysts and spare valuable time to investigate more sophisticated unknown attacks and parallel link during the ask comes if they successfully collapse the US grid that would destroy power projection means that we are the internal link to maintaining a Germany and no link. Extend pan and Akbar indicates that solvency argues Beijing and intrusion easily installed wouldn't take up any resources and outweigh. Our carbola evidence indicates that war is inevitable without more cybersecurity for grids. That means that we control the internal link to their impact in. Uh, extend the last piece of evidence I read under solvency indicates that uh, more uh, cybersecurity measures like the app is inevitable unless we impact blame means that the app is the best idea because it doesn't use very many employees in. Impact evidence doesn't even kind of make the articulation that, or that they don't make the articulation that they get to the impact don't give them break analysis on case. First argument on inheritance is that we're not going to be able to cause full collapse. First argument, we don't have to cause a full collapse in order to access our impacts. We are, our uh, hedge impacts are just about grids abroad. Next, uh, uh, cyber attacks on grids that cascade and shrink uh, cl uh, societal collapse. This is because wind farms. That's Brower at LN18. The impact of cyber attacks can be very disruptive. The volatile renewable sort of enhance the risk of cascading failure, failure, and one lead to spiraling failure. Wind farms increase the probability of cascading failure. Black hats have disastrous consequences. Cut it. Consequences in. Go to advantage. They make two arguments about how Russia isn't going to attack. I gave them a lot of other argument, or, uh, actors in cross ice North Korea, Iran, and China. That means that they don't, we don't link to this position. doesn't matter in any way. But next, predictions are hyper accurate in the context of cybersecurity. If we have caught them probing, they will attack. That's Lou at LN15. We can collect extremely malleable features such as the malicious activities, damn fishing, and scanning activity. The result class fire machine 90% positive rate A, rate of 10% false positive. The prediction will have proactive policy to measure to be adopted and significantly increase the reduce of potential cost and on hedge. They say no impact to liberal hegemony. Uh, uh, two arguments here. First argument is about overall long-term sustainability of liberal hegemony. It's about instant collapse being a problem. When you instantly pull the rug out from our allies, they start pursuing nuclear weapons. That's what leads to great power wars. It's about uh, when we take away our, our deterrent stability around the globe. And next, on their sustainability arguments. Hegemony is sustainable even under Trump. Nega uh, overstretch arguments are wrong. That's not law for an 18. Criticism of the LA on this character is America. The one of the hegemon provides least granted public and private good. While the free writing is possible, the hegemon that calls dominant the external make of externality the United States capable of reversing the decline by the power today. Many other rounds of decline. The United States are thinking better to the more economically and materially. The United States is the world's most formidable military power. The broad based metrics of the United States remain the leading power of the world. The counterfactual said the United States provide international security would be a fragile one and extend our carbola evidence indicates that escalation is inevitable and the status quo means that it doesn't matter in hedge in the long term. Now, go to econ. Uh, uh, their arguments are about generic uh, economic collapse. I'm not going to respond to them because they can see the div war argument. That's going to be really damning for them. We make the articulation that Trump uniquely will engage in diversionary war. It doesn't matter whether or not long term trends or long term conflict. It's only a question of whether Trump engages in div war in the status quo. And Trump div war will lead to nuclear annihilation. That's bomb in 16. Risk that threaten the civilization to the prospect of him ordering a launch of the nuclear arsenal much worse than the president's sole authority. Trump's so erratic behavior combined with the difficult challenge of war probability or will be unusually high. Go to solvency. 
First argument is that Beijing intrusion, or that the IDS is unaffected, but Beijing intrusion is better. It overcomes the one-bit decision-making problem that their evidence talks about. That's King and 18. The performance delivering the cavern the spectrum of the sensing the investigating attack in order to overcome the limitation of the one-bit decision, like the binary hypothesis of the Beijing intrusion network has developed to address the intrusion issue with the method to cure the players. Do not have complete issue that uh, that answers both arguments about setting a alarm they can't trip because the one-bit detection prevents this from happening. Also, ours is automated. There. Their evidence takes into account an automated system. Then they say USFG doesn't know very many arguments about any grid register under the United States tax grid policy. That's what I was trying to explain in cross. You just kept fucking cutting me off. Next, they say 24 month delay first. Uh, we uh, beat this fact through deterrence. Second, argument is that uh, we uh, answer this fact that, that this works way worse for the counter blankets to turn posture immediately. Next off, A, the interpreter plan text must specify the mechanism being responsible for establishing the thin line reason to prefer. Prefers AR strides make plan text make for proper possible to death. Research the app possible. We can't prevent their plan works. Stop the winner. Seven PM reaction shift around the story of the details of the plan passage. And implementation no link to sets. And CP number no link our AR position. And fairness and education to the voting pedagogical and the base the right critical right to the ballot. You should over the main interim investments is going to go to condo. The interpretation the negative shouldn't be allowed to reconditional counter plans reason to prefer. Education, the strategy incentivizes the of conditional week off his position, neither so I can uh, conduct in depth or consistently broad discussion, advocate detail, critical research deals with the day, the strip their advocacy of portable skills with very more more policy making compared to advocacy better without severance and reciprocity. The gap can't separate place, let alone kick, advantage without defense on it if the negative hands on an over's position. In addition, the end today, structural man in the one AR. We can't redo the one AR, don't wipe off their offensive extent fairness and education from above.
counter plan, um, which includes the uh, bagels and plate plan and condo. The I'll make sure this is the right one. The uh, politics dissent. I actually put CyberCon this out on top of everything. Okay. And then case in the order of when you see. This politics will have to be Okay. So we can say the one in the order. So the CyberCon this end. Oh, very good. Yeah. Counter plan. Yeah. Uh, the politics this end. And then case in the order of when you see. So inherency, attacks had you consult. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll send this uh, It's on those two and C things. I recognize on the dock it says SciCon below it, below politics. It's not accurate. No doubt. <coughs> Everyone good? First on the SciCon, this ad, I'm going to answer their terms, but uh, first on the plan, so cyber shortages is not about shortages, it's a question of how they prioritize things in that, uh, that's not a unique term, it's not even a specific to our, uh, our interlink chain, which is about the amount of missions and how uh, the focus works, you said the, the, uh, the app comes first and it destroys power projection, I'm going to answer this on the case, though, you said the app is inevitable, which probably means that you should just fucking vote on presumption, because there's no net benefit to the time allocation right now, the counter plan. The counter plan solves 100% of the app and solves it better. The 1AC Cybercom solvency report actually calls for the counter plan instead of unilateral Cybercom action. The CP is implemented by the Joint Services Cyber rather than the top level of Cyber Command that the app employs. The extended DoD Defense Science Board Task Force on Cyber Deterrence Evidence. That was the 1 and CO evidence. This car, uh, creates an important distinction with the app. The app's solvency B card, which is their only Cyber Command uh, keyboard, is cut from the small, a small subset of the report. The CP is cut from the committee's overall recommendation which says nothing about Congress being necessary, which is the net benefit. Any permutation would link to the net benefit, which is the politics. It said the plan text calls for congressional authorization. That spills over and destroys the Democrats' running platform, which kills dim, uh, dim unity and takes focus off the agenda. I'm going to mainly go for the focus trade-off here. It's a question of not bipartisanship, but how the focus and trades off with different issues. And if cybersecurity is a huge issue for bipartisan politics, then you can sure as hell bet on the fact that they're going to be focusing on that rather than ATCA, which needs to be passed in four fucking days. And yes, it does solve great. It provides the best method of second strike capabilities based on critical infrastructure. It specifically talks about how we can use the DOD to uh, uh, attribute things, which then allows us to better deal and have better deterrence. Uh, that also answers your no deterrence argument. You also said the 24-hour delay, you bit the link on the 24-hour delay argument, but that is specific to CyberCon, which is going to be huge solvency, uh, or it's a 24-month delay on the, uh, that's going to be huge solvency uh, uh, takeout on the case, because it is specific to CyberCon and how they train uh, individuals within it, which means that the counter plan is functionally not needing to worry about it, because it's not CyberCon. Uh, the vagueness stuff. I don't know why the hell you're reading vagueness on a counter plan. It makes zero sense. It, that is something you read against 1ACs. It's not a reason to vote the negative down. There's no abuse. Our plan is not widely based on your same goddamn report that you neglected to read. Secondly, uh, specifying abuses, uh, the negative was uh, well, actually the affirmative. You can see how stupid this is because I'm having to read neg blocks or, or app blocks for vagueness. It's, it doesn't apply to counter plans. It's, their own freaking blog says plan text, not counter plan text. It's really stupid. I don't know why they read it. it there's a... Uh, Specifying undermines resolution based education, forcing the. Yeah, I mean, it's not a voter anyway. We're not going to be shifting out of anything. Cross X checks. That's the single question on the counter plan. Uh, it literally is their 1AC, except it doesn't go through Congress and it doesn't require cyber. Uh, yeah. A uh, condo. 
Condo is good. It's the best policy option. Pending down the negative. And the 1EC forecloses our ability to fully test the 1EC. It's key to negative flexibility, which is key to fairness because it offsets after the infinite threat last speech. Negative strategy. It's also key to negative strategy. We should be able to get counterpoint out of 2AC add ons, which is key to in route education and constant debate. Time skew is arbitrary. 14 T shells and 4 dissets and spread the 2AC. Also, it is a unique reason to vote against us because of impact calculus. Hard debate is good debate. Counter interpretation negative. Only one advocacy. I mean, come on. This is the finals round of NFALD. You're whining about having one conditional advocacy. you are got to be kidding me. This checks infinite regression. It allows a, 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 a test of agency or full uh, implementation. And the interpretation has no offense or for their standards. And it doesn't even resolve their offense anyway. And at worst, reject a specific argument out the team. You can crossplay this sort of argument. We spent time on the theory debate as well. Crossplay to the vagueness argument. Worse and worse, kick the CP. It doesn't matter. Well, you should, like, still vote on it. But, like, whatever. The politics again. A legislative fix to ATCA to provide aid to the House and the authorities coming now. Plan is a fundamental uh, front to Trump's ex uh, current executive actions that spills over to other political issues. Absent a fix for February 1st, the PA will lash out uh, to stabilize the Middle East and call nuclear draw and it out. Ways to turn the after nearly all of Trump's actions can result in nuclear war. You should evaluate this through the lens of a time frame debate. It might take a year, a month, or really 24 months for the after for the absent pact to happen. But the PA would go unfunded in four days, causing a bitterism lash out to solidify their power. Trump would come to Israel's, uh, Israel's aid only to draw on Russia and other nuclear powers and. Um, I don't need the card. I'm just going to answer the line by line because you didn't really answer the impact. You only said the hedge is key to stability, but that doesn't assume the loss in allies that occurs because Palestine will go and seek other Middle Eastern allies, which the U.S. wants to lash out at. You said the plan is bipartisan. That isn't the focus. It's a focus shift, DA, which you don't answer the uh, same... I think I answered this already. You, you said there's, there's not a link. I've already done this in the cross-examination. You said lawmakers uh, went, uh, want cybersecurity and that the bill is key to bipartisanship. Well, if that's the case and you cause more bills to be introduced, then you create a, a definite uh, uh, trade-off when it comes to allocation on the floor. And I'm going to extend the nuclear impact. You didn't really have any defense to the Middle East escalation scenario, which means that you should uh, prefer first. And a change in U.S. allyships, especially nuclear allies, is a big impact. The inherency argument, you have no internal link to full hedge cards. You can see it yourself. It's just grids abroad. They're just small parts, and there's no cascade because they're uh, and, and they're disconnected. They're not connected to one another. The attacks advantage. There's no attacks that occur. You can see that there's no impact, and Ukraine proves this whenever Russia attacked a less developed nation, even though they had nuclear reactors. There was nothing that occurred. They, you drop this impurity, hegemony stuff. You actually go to Salman your only response to solvency is that you uh, that the evasion uh, intrusion is affecting that's automated, but this doesn't answer our argument. It's the smart grid that fails. It's how the alarms function. You said that it works through a smart AI. That is the exact problem. Our evidence is really good on this question. There's no impact to hedge. There is a empiric test of this when Russia and Obama got into problems. Okay, 156. Okay. 
ukur the condo counter plan e spec inherency hedge advantage solvency politics. Yeah. Uh, can condo? Yeah. The counter plan? Yes. E spec? Yes. Inherency? Advantage? Oh, uh, the hedge advantage, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. uh, solvency? Disad? On condo extend the IP, we're not going for it. On the counter plan, I want you to circle the argument where they make the articulation that they create second strike capability around the way in which the DOD would respond to attacks on the grid. This is a re-articulation literally in cross. I ask, how do you establish the thin blue line of deterrence? And you say, I don't know, and give me a bunch of non-answers. This is the re-articulation that we talk about in the e-spec shell, proven abuse of, even if you don't want to pull the trigger on the e-spec argument as an opera where they may extend the argument that you should use this as a reason to drop the counter plan. So if I win a risk of argument offense, you should reject the counter plan, just evaluate DA versus case for the counter uh, e spec. Literally the only thing they do on the e-spec flow is bloviate about how this is a stupid argument. I don't think it's so stupid to hold it negative to the same burden that you hold the 1AC. We say that the 1AC needs to prove their propensity to solve that it has enough ability to be enforced and carried out. That is the burden of the 1AC. Why I specify the type of IDS technology I use. Why I specify the kind of direct posture. You don't specify these kind of things. Impossible for the affirmative to get offense on the counter plan where you don't even spike that to specify the technology that it's utilized. I can't compare Bayesian intrusion detection system against whatever this advocacy discusses because you have not specified the advocacy there. Only other argument is that it is derived from me. Not true, even if it is the same article that I cut from this evidence. Or the article wasn't entirely even in the context of grids. Proven by their evidence is extraordinary generalities. Means that it doesn't check. They say cross X check cross X doesn't check. I ask you a question and you bloviate about how it's in my app and then don't answer. There's not good cross X checks. Extend our standards about the AR straps. That is proven. I can't make specific arguments on the counter plan because you will just sever and recreate the argument in a different way of the current posture. Next, stop pointing our severance extend the argument, or in our separate sticks in uh, the same argument above. This is the internal link to fairness and education. They have conceded fairness and education as a voter, uh, uh, so you should drop the, uh, the team in order to prevent these kind of arguments in the future, but dropping the argument is enough for you to win. So drop the argument. Go to case. They say no internal link to hegemony collapse off the inherency argument. That is fundamentally not true. Our Carbola and Lepore evidence indicates that escalation is inevitable if you have the capacity of foreign networks have the capacity to offset advantages even in just one place. That is what causes escalation. It doesn't matter about full cascading forms over the grid. It just matters over if it could happen in one place. They also can send this, can see the wind farms evidence that cascading failures do happen. Go to event. Extend our Carvola evidence indicates war is inevitable in the status quo. This does three things. First, it non uniques the impact to the dissad because they have conceded that war is inevitable unless we update grid security, makes it try or die for the 1AC. Second argument here is that uh, there is no uh, articulable, or they, they literally uh, can see everything. The only thing they extend is that Russia isn't going to be an actor. I extend other actors, and they can see by hypo testing that we've caught them probing that means they're going to attack solvency. Extend my one bit deterrence argument. Our, our one bit question answers this back says that they will be fast enough to answer second argument. We say deterrence cost is sufficient. Counterplay doesn't have deterrence. That's that yeah, benefit. Go to dissent. Their link evidence is really terrible. That's why I only left 10 seconds. You should read the link evidence. It literally doesn't say anything about fracturing formation or anything at all other than Dems like it. That's why you would see the third piece of evidence. I read that plans popular in the nights. It solves back the argument and makes it formulated. 